Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Friday, July 24th. In the first reading for today's Mass, we read from the third chapter of the prophet Jeremiah. In this reading, the prophet gives the people of Israel good news. Verse 14 of this selection reads as follows. I will appoint for you shepherds after my own heart, who will shepherd you wisely and prudently. Now, the prophet, speaking on behalf of God, is referring to the leaders of the Israelite people, the shepherds appointed by God to lead the flock he has called his own. And as we remember from our study of the Old Testament, the fate of the people of Israel was linked to its leaders. When the leaders were faithful followers of God and acted justly in his sight, the people prospered. When the leaders of the people of Israel strayed from faith and acted unjustly, the people suffered. Now, there are a few exceptions to this pattern, but from the time of the Old Testament up to now, we recognize that leadership is truly important within all groups. So from the people of Israel to leadership within our own church to leadership's leadership within our country and communities, but probably most importantly, even leadership within our own families is extremely important because leaders help those whom they guide to be successful and to experience blessings. Now there's a problem though, and maybe some of you have thought of this already. If God appoints leaders, why did he ever appoint leaders that would succumb to the problems that would lead to negative consequences? Because we do believe that God knows everything that's going to happen. And again, if God knows everything that's going to happen, why would he allow flaws, flawed leadership to happen? And to answer this question, we have to just admit in a humble way, we don't know why God does it. Now, there's been some speculation put forth by very smart and wise people over time, and I'm going to share those with you. But God gives us good leaders, but also God allows for bad leaders. And again, what does it mean when we have a bad leader? First of all, a flawed leader, though they bring consequences down upon those whom they lead, good things can still happen. It's just that we may not see those good things in an aggregate way, in a summary way. So the community may not see the good things that are happening, but there may be good things happening all along that they do not know about. Another thought, flawed leaders, because of the struggles they put on the community, can help all of us to trust more in God because we can see clearly that the things of this world do not always satisfy. And the leadership of the bad leaders reminds us that we're not made for this world, we're made for eternal life. So as we move through this world and see the struggles, frustrations, and pains, we think about all the good things that we have stored up for eternal life. And that, again, is to be the source of our hope because of our faith. A third reality. Flawed leaders help to develop better leaders for the future. Because those who exist under the flawed leadership know what not to do. And also they can work towards developing what they believe to be the right responses to the challenges of the day. So sometimes flawed leadership leads to better leadership in the future. And our belief in the resurrection confirms this. From the worst realities, God can bring forth amazing and wonderful things. A fourth speculation. Flawed leaders are a reminder to those whom they lead that any person can fail in their role. We are all sinners. 
we all struggle to do what is right. And when I was in the military, I was once said at a leadership seminar that the burden of leadership was so great that it could make good leaders into bad leaders. So we all are to be humble, not only in how we judge those who are in leadership, but also humble about what we could do if we were in leadership positions. And furthermore, when God allows a flawed leader to take the place, maybe this person was the best of all the flawed leaders available. Maybe there was no one who was perfect or no one who was going to bring about the outcome that many people desired, but God appointed the best flawed leader. We don't know. So again, this, this fourth proposition puts forth that all of us are sinners, and God may allow the best of us sinners to be in the role, even though it may be viewed as flawed leadership. So with all these things being said, I just want us to reflect upon the fact that leadership is truly important. But even when we see flawed leadership, bad leadership, we still have to remember that Jesus Christ is the Good Shepherd. And that any time we are called to leadership positions, or as we look to leaders in our own lives, we pray that they and we will conform to Jesus Christ so that we can be the best possible leaders in this world. But also, I think we also need to be truly humble about the fact that if we are to be faithful, we know it's not necessarily just about earthly leadership, that we always have to orient ourselves towards God to make sure that we are focused on the things that are most important, not just who is in charge this day and this time. So please be assured of my continued thoughts and prayers for all of you. I hope you have a blessed Friday. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.